and be very choosy about who you decide to befriend in the workplace because it can get real ghetto. <laughs>to the channel so as you guys can see from the title of today's video we will be discussing how to manage stressful workplace environments how to control our mental health when working in stressful workplace environments and how to get along with difficult co-workers now y'all this video is going to resonate with me in so many different ways for the simple fact that working in stressful workplace environments and nursing is very real and so common it's so real so if you have ever worked in a stressful workplace environment or if you're currently working in a stressful workplace please do not be afraid to leave a comment down below this is a safe space a no, a no judgment zone so don't be afraid to leave y'all's comments and remember to give this video a like and a thumbs up so we're going to just proceed with the video so my first tip for you guys to change your perspective. I know it sounds easier said than done, but honestly, energy is real and everything starts up here. So if you go into a shift thinking of all the negative and wrong things that's possibly that can happen, maybe it will, <laughs> especially if you've had like a crazy messed up shift like the day before oh you had a fall over here this person decides to code the family is going crazy over here like it's just been a hot mess there's a short it's short staff like those are everyday common issues that we deal with in nursing and honestly that's out of our control so if there's something that's happening on the outside of you that you can't control the only thing you can really do is focus on how you respond to it and how you want it to control you and if i can't control it i'm not going to try to control the issue so please change your perspective and i promise you if you go into a shift thinking more positively there's going to be like an automatic shift like you're going to have a good day and even if it's not good it would be an okay day because you didn't let it control you and take over how you respond. Let's focus more on how we respond to situations instead of letting it control us. All right, my second tip, your coworkers are not your friends. I see it all the time. Like it's very common for us to make friends in the workplace, especially as adults, because that's like our playground. That's school for us, kind of, you know, when we're in school and that's how we make friends from school. So the workplace for adults, that's kind of like a, a playground for us, but it's not y'all. Stop thinking that your coworkers are your friends. Stop telling all your business to your co-workers. Sally and Sue do not need to know about your cheating husband or about what you did over the weekend. You know, they don't need to know like the the very deep, dark, like issues that's happening in your life. I just think that that's very unprofessional unless you have really established like a genuine friendship with someone, someone at work. But be very mindful and be very choosy about who you decide to befriend in the workplace because it can get real ghetto. <laughs> it can get really crazy. Like I've worked in a setting where um, the CNAs, like they would hang out like every weekend and then they'll come back to work and then they're upset with each other. Something happened on their vacation trip and now they're beefing and there's just a whole bunch of ghetto mess. And now you guys don't want to help each other with, you know, what, whatever your patient needs. And that's not fair to the staff that's there, nor is it fair to the patients. So please set boundaries. Be mindful and be very choosy about who you decide to befriend at work. So the next tip, <laughs> this is really a problem for myself. And yes, become less available. Become less available. Meaning just because your job is short, 
that does not mean that you're obligated to go and help them out or to pick up an extra shift. Um, I do it all the time, but I'm slowly learning that that's not healthy, even for myself. Like, I usually I would do like a 36 hour week. However, that 36 hour week will turn into like a 60 hour week because they've called me on my other days off and now I only have like one day of rest and that's not enough. Like now I'm lacking, <laughs> you know, sleep and uh, cranky because I'm not getting the proper sleep that I need and just drained and just tired. And honestly, you can't give your best or good quality um, care when you're, you know, not even taking care of yourself. So you get a text message, you get those calls, you do not have to respond. So sometimes we really do need those breaks. Like it's nothing wrong with getting a little extra coin. A absolutely not. But it's really important that we choose to take care of ourselves first. And sleep is really important. Like, oh my God, like for example, this one time, this is when I completely cut this stuff out. Um, uh, my one of the supervisors she sent me a test and she's like t we're really sure is it possible you can come in today keep in mind i've already picked up an extra shift for them d later during in the week so um i kind of thought about it and i was like no i'm not gonna do it i told her i was like i'm a, i'm about to go to an appointment and she's like well can you just reschedule your appointment <laughs> that goes to show you that a lot of these companies actually, honestly, they don't really care about your well-being. So, yeah, you have to really think more of yourself, get the proper sleep that you need. Again, you become less available. Okay, so this tip kind of rolls over into this, the next tip. Now, taking in the proper nutrition and getting more active. Um, I'm not one of those people who's going to wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning before my 7 a.m. 7 a.m. shift to get in a workout. Absolutely not gonna happen. <laughs> so usually on my days off, I'll choose to work out as um, in the mornings, like as if I'm getting up to go to work, I'll just work out on those days. And honestly, that has made me feel so much better just doing some sort of workout it's a booster for me i feel better mentally and physically y'all we really do need to encourage ourselves to do some type of physical activity whether it's you know running walking doing some morning yoga uh, i don't care what you do like move your bodies taking the proper nutrition that you need take care of yourselves Really, honestly, take care of yourselves. That's the only way that you're going to be able to, you know, be your, the best version of you and give quality work. All right. So my next tip is to only do what you can do. OK, some of us, when we're working, we try to go above and beyond and to do more than what we actually should on our ship. That's going to drain you, especially if you're doing this constantly. And sometimes people are going to expect for you to always, you know, go above and beyond and to do all of this work, and especially on the days when you just don't have it in you to give. Only do what you can do on your shift. Focus just on that. It's good to try to be a team player, but honestly, everyone is not a team player. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Okay, like everyone is not a team player. So only do what you can do. Don't stop being a team player, but also do not burn yourself. The next one, communication and delivery. I feel that like this is really extremely important because we all have different backgrounds. Um, some people's character may seem very much aggressive. Rawr. You know, some people character, it just gets raw and <laughs> they don't even realize it. You know, they don't even know it. And you could sometimes you could be that person, you know, the way that they communicate is not going to be the same way that you communicate. So um, if you try to understand, you know, other people's communication styles and focus on your delivery, that will of, uh, that will basically help with a lot of miscommunication 
a misunderstanding now i hope this video really did you know help some of you guys or maybe someone else can relate to this video and i want to give a shout out to kiana she's a subscriber here on the channel thanks for inspiring me to you know do this video so i hope this helps you or anyone else that is here on this platform and thank you guys for always tuning in and i will see you guys in the next video